really no words that I could say to you that would explain how I feel. The best way to put it is that you are the best gift that God has ever given to me. You are a blessing to me in all ways that I could even think about. You make me want to be better. There are so many things that you do for me and teach me. So on this day, my love, I vow to always be the best version of myself to love you unconditionally and to always be by your side no matter what. I promise that I will always have your back and that I will learn to be the best team player that you need me to be so that we are always one and that we are always on the same page or at least in the same chapter. I love you with all my heart in this lifetime and in the next. I love you. For so long, for this night I pray that a storm will guide you my way to share with me this special day.
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God to join this man and this woman in holy marriage, which is instituted of God, regulated by his commandments, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and to be held in honor among all men. Let us therefore reverently remember that God has esteemed and sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind. Our Savior declared that a man should forsake his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. By his apostles, he has instructed those who enter into this relation to cherish a mutual esteem and love, to bear with each other's infirmities and weaknesses, and for their household and temporal things, to pray for and encourage each other in the things which pertain to God and to live together as the heirs of the grace of life. If there be anyone present here who knows any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined in marriage, I require them now to make it known or ever after to hold their peace. I charge you both before the great God, the searcher of all hearts, that if either of you know any impediment why you may not lawfully be joined together in marriage, you do now confess it. For be you well assured that if any person are joined together otherwise than as God's word allows, their union is not blessed by him. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Let us pray. Father, it is our prayer that this couple do a thorough examination worthy of receipt and service in your kingdom forever. In doing so, they follow your commandments for kingdom living. Amen. The scriptures. Scripture from the Word of God taken from the Old Testament is found in the book of Genesis, the second chapter, verses 18 to 14. And the Lord God said, It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them together unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. And the rib of the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman and brought her unto man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was made and taken out of a man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. From the New Testament, the word of God comes from the book of Ephesians, the fifth chapter, verses 22 through 23, which states, Wives, submit yourself unto your husbands and unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is head of the church, and he is the savior of our body. Patrick and Tiasha have written personal vows to each other, which they will share at this time. From the heart, Tiasha, AKA Asta, <laughs> AKA Claire Boxing. In my world, it's a lovely girl. Vow from this day forward to do my best that I can to protect you, provide for you, and give you all the love and affection that your heart desires. I vow that I will be able to be better than the husband you envision you would always have. Let's go, Team Christian. <laughs> to my honey, it's been a long time coming but we made it. Love brought us here. Patrick Fitzgerald Christian, 
Will you have this woman to be your wife, and will you pledge your faith to her in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage? And your answer is, I will. I will. Kiasha Malitha Carter, will you have this man be your husband, and will you pledge your faith to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage? And your answer is, I will. I will. I, Patrick Christian. I, Patrick Christian. Give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a token and pledge. As a token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. Abiding love. Okay. <laughs> Tiasha Carter, if you would repeat after me, I, Tiasha Carter. I, Tiasha Carter. Give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a token and pledge. As a token and pledge. Of our constant faith, our constant faith and, abiding and abiding love, you may kneel. Let us pray. In the blessed name of Jesus, we commend this rela relation to God and adorn it in communion as declared in 1 Corinthians 11th chapter, verses 23 to 32. For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink in remembrance of me. You may con commune. Give us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the kingdom and the power and the glory forever oh for 
by the authority committed unto me as a minister of the Church of Christ, I declare Patrick and Kiasha are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Dr. and Mrs. Patrick Fitzgerald Christian.
darling, just dive right in. Follow my lead. Well, I found a girl, beautiful and sweet. Well, I never knew you were the someone waiting for me. Cause we were just kids when we fell. Watch Blue Lips. I laugh at these fuckers when they ask who do this. But everybody knows who girl that you play. 